Might it be possible to power a car directly from the sun? Well, there's a magic number that tells you whether that's going to be possible. It's a number called the solar constant. It's 1.4 kilowatts per meter squared. That tells you that if you just go outside the Earth's atmosphere and build a solar panel, you can get 1,400 watts per meter squared from the sun. But by the time you've taken into account the fact that the Earth's surface is curved and the atmosphere absorbs solar radiation, that number drops to something like 200 watts per meter squared. Now to put that in contact, a Toyota Prius has electric motors that consume 50,000 watts. So you can do the sums, you'd need a huge amount of solar panels to directly power a family car. But that doesn't mean that you can't use solar power. You can store the energy, for example, by creating hydrogen or by charging batteries. And in that way, it may be possible to power cars using solar energy as long as you have some kind of storage medium. So can you drive a car just directly from the power of the sun? Well, not really, not a family car anyway. The laws of physics don't let you. But can you do it some other way with hydrogen or batteries? Certainly you could.